everyone. I decided to look through some of my unfinished sewing pieces. This is one of them. Um, and uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I really want to finish some of them. Um, just give you a better view. <laughs> um, and uh, so I'm just going to try and, and first finish some of the pieces I haven't finished and then um, hopefully I'll get to work on making some things with the fabric that I have. Uh, for example, I made this apron a long time ago, <laughs> um, and I'd love to make more of them because I really love it. Um, and so I've just spread out the project uh, on the ground, uh, at least a couple of them. Uh, and so these are some socks that I, I made mostly, uh, just put a garter on them, uh, and I, I really like them, and they're kind of rough and I don't know if I would sell them because they're a little badly made um, because they were the first kind of socks that I ever tried making so I had to figure out what kind of materials I needed a new sewing needle and everything so that was a little hectic um, and then there is uh, I've been well I had a phase where I really wanted to make some collars and I was embroidering a lot so this is a plan for a collar um, and I already did the nice embroidery on it. Um, so I just need to, to finish that up and then here's another one uh, with a different material. I'm not really sure what, if I'm just going to leave it plain like that and maybe put some flowers in the middle. Uh, and then there's, this is the top of a nightie. I cut it, <laughs> but then I never did anything more with it. So I'll have to figure out what I actually want to do with that. Um, but it is really, really cute nighty. Um, little lacy and pink. Um, and then these are some things I really don't know if I'm even gonna bother with these. Uh, I made them as like a waist uh, band kind of thing um, because I wanted it to, to be a little bit, um, you know, like Edwardian style. Uh, and they just uh, have little button things. Um, but I never quite did figure out how that was going to work. <laughs> um, and then more socks. These are some materials that I've been starting on some socks for. This is the material I'm making some socks out of. Long socks. And then hopefully also some green and brown socks. Some more fey kind of colors. And here's some more stuff that I like to use for making it look a little fairy like. Um, another project I have, which I haven't taken out, is, um, is this dress that I started the top of. So it's like a loose more girl kind of dress um, with this nice pattern. And yeah, I really like this fabric and I'll I'll make a, a nice, maybe a long dress, maybe just a partway long dress with this. Um, and I've got a bunch of little things that I can put on it um, to give it some nice more girl details. Um, so these are just uh, some, what's it called? Uh, <laughs> I'm blanking. Um, handkerchiefs. These are some cute handkerchiefs that I would like to use for making details, like maybe this could be a pocket, a big pocket or something. Um, big pocket in the middle, maybe. Um, so yeah, that's the fun thing about having all these thrifted materials. Uh, basically all of this is thrifted actually, yeah. Um, or it's old clothing of mine, so it's basically thrifting. Um, and uh, yeah, that's the great thing about it is I can play around with some cool materials and get creative. Um, there's lots more materials that I have plans for, but yeah, that's the start. Gotta start somewhere. Oh, shoot. I also forgot about this. This is um, another nighty kind of thing. Um, I don't really have a plan for it, but I just think all these materials go so nicely together. I have to make something with it. Um, so it'll be a nice blue flowy thing, whatever it is, <laughs> with this beautiful ribbon, um, and these nice flowers. Yeah. Um, 
that's a couple of the projects and hopefully I will complete them. <laughs> On another note, someone bought this uh, Snufkin pendant from my Etsy store, so I'm just going to be wrapping it in a little handkerchief um, and then putting it in a envelope. Um, packing is one of my oh, yeah. packing is one of my favorite parts of uh, of mailing my little creations out. Um, so I'm going to be putting some dried flowers on that and yeah, it'll be fun. So there you can see the little handkerchief peeking out and these uh, little elderflowers, they're matching quite perfectly <laughs> with the colors. Um, I like to just put a little bits of nature in my packages just to inspire. I've also written a quick little letter with even a little drawing of Snufkin, um, just to make it a little more personal. So, there I've got some letters to mail out today. But of course, no letter is complete without some stamps. My homemade stamps. This didn't go so well, but still nice. Uh, and then the front. I'll put the address there and some stamps. Yeah, so uh, that is a package for uh, Hilde, is the person who ordered it. And then this is a letter for Laura. Mm, I did some uh, little creative things this time. Um, this is what I put inside. First, it's a Christmas tea. I know it's totally out of season, but uh, I think it's really nice. Um, and then there's some elderflower that's been pressed. Um, and this is just a little tag. And this is a sticker uh, at the logo of my uh, urban garden. And I think it's really pretty, so I wanted to give her one. And then this is one of the postcards that uh, Paulina and I found when we were thrift shopping, and I actually have a video about that. Um, and of course, it's quite beautiful. Uh, and then there's this little painting I did, which I'll be giving to her. Um, and I, uh, I cut up this uh, piece that I've made, because it went kind of wrong in the printer. You can see it was supposed to be black and white, but it became this beautiful sepia tone. Um, and I thought I'd make like a little fun kind of, uh, like, like that, um, like a little puzzle. <laughs> uh, and so, I don't know, it was just an idea I had. So I think it's quite pretty, so I hope she'll like it. Um, yeah, that's about it. I think there's also some more bits of nature in here. Um, a little gold painted leaf. Um, and so I hope she'll enjoy magical little creations. Oh my god, there's a, <laughs> a little caterpillar that somehow got in the letter. It must have been from the elder class. So I'll put him outside. <laughs> so today for dinner I am making some zucchini muffins for the first time. They've got walnuts and raisins in them. And then I'm making good old sweet potato fries. So it's going to be a, a healthy dinner. <laughs> I was really blanking in uh, the store when I was buying the ingredients of what I should make, but this is what I felt like. So we'll see how it goes. I'm not ready. Mm, so I'm hoping they turned out good. I'll just cut this one in half. You can still see the little bits of zucchini in it. Mm, I put a lot of cinnamon in it. <laughs> But it tastes pretty good. So, my strange little dinner. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>